What if we told you there is a way to remove all the noise on your charts and just focus on price action, not even focus on time? Well, you can do all of that with chart types on TradingView, but specifically the advanced chart types located down here at the bottom. Now we've made videos on all of these chart types, but today's video is specifically about line break, and we want to show you how this chart type works how it looks, you're looking at it right now, and also its advantages or maybe why it's not for you. So the first step to getting to a line break chart is accessing your chart type menu as we are doing right now. Many of you are probably familiar with candlestick charts. They look just like this. They show you candlesticks. In this case, a candlestick every day because our time interval is day. Some of you may also know area charts, which shows you a chart of the price action over specific time intervals, in this case each day. But now we are going to go to line break and you can immediately see how line break charts look just based on the color of each bar here. And also the smooth trend, the green after green after green and then suddenly a red. Well, line break charts are especially powerful for those who just want to spot trends. That's because a line break chart only forms a green bar like this when price goes above its previous high or below its previous lows. We're going to show you that now in great detail because there are some key things to understand about how these bars are created and why they matter. First of all, these bars do not care about time. All they care about is if price goes over a previous high. Thus, the bar becomes green, and then we are then off to the next bar. So time does not matter. In fact, we are looking at a chart of NVIDIA, and hypothetically, if this bar right here, this green bar, never went anywhere and essentially just stayed in its same position over the course of several weeks, it would still be on this period as we speak. But you are only seeing green bar after green bar after green bar because it has made consecutive highs. Now, what are those highs based off of? Well, if you double click on the line break chart type, you are going to get this wonderful chart settings menu where you can make tons of customizations to understand this chart in more detail. First of all, you're gonna notice that the up bars are colored in green. That's right, that means it's going up. There was a higher high higher high, higher high. So you're getting green bar after green bar. The down bars mean red. Many of you are already familiar with red candlesticks. It means there was a lower low that broke through the previous lows. Now here's where things do get interesting. You get to decide how that high or low is chosen. So for example, it says number of line. Well, by default, it's set to three. That means that in order for this big red candle to be filled, so this giant red candle here, it not only has to go below the previous candle, but it has to go below the third candle. It is counting backward by the line break that you set. So you'll see the chart will change drastically if we set it to one. This is just quite literally, it has to be above or below its previous bar in each instance. So. It's red here because price went below the previous bar. It's red here because price went below the previous bar. It's green here because price went above this previous bar. In fact, one very nice way to think about this is if we double click on the chart type, let's go back to three, is you can imagine lines at each third bar. So what we can do essentially is we're gonna go ahead and take our horizontal line. Here's one, two, three, here's the low right here. So the second this bar here broke the low, it turned red. In addition, you can now start to realize that in order for this bar here, this red bar to go green again, it has to go back above the third line break. So it's got quite the journey to do just to form a new green candle. And this is why this is so important because essentially what this chart is doing is showing you the trend. You are essentially putting the price and time relationship aside. Time does not matter. All you are waiting for are breaks of specific price levels and then you can perform your technical or charting analysis on this chart. In this case, you can see the run up that Nvidia had and that's because it continually hit new highs according to the last three bars. So it kept making a new high 
relative to the last three bars, thus a new green bar is created. New high relative to the last three bars, new bar, new green bars created. You can just keep counting. And you can just see how crystal clear this trend is. And if you wish, you could utilize drawing tools to understand how powerful the trend is as well. You could draw a channel on this specific upward motion. You could draw trend lines if you are looking to find a specific connecting point where each price is either bouncing off of or showing strength from. Ultimately, the research and analysis of this process is up to you, but the key detail here from this demonstration video is that you have the capability to utilize the line break chart, which is an advanced charting method to spot long-lasting trends specifically based on price and not time. Let us just explain that one more time. All of the bars that you're looking at here are not being created based off of time. What we mean by that is even though it's set to a daily chart, if we hover our mouse over this bar, we can see it says Tuesday, June 18th. The next bar says Friday, June 14th. So this is Friday, this is Tuesday, where's Monday? Well, clearly on Monday, the price action was not strong enough to the upside or downside to create a new bar. It did not go below or above that previous line break that is set in your chart settings menu. And so the bar just stays right there. Time is not an issue, it's all about price action. So what a wonderful way by using the line break chart to essentially remove all of the noise around you, whether it is time, uh, wicks, candlesticks, area charts, anything, and just focus on line breaks based off of the power of the move going upward or downward. So we hope that this tutorial helps you. And just as a final note, a line break chart can be utilized if you are looking to better understand what type of trend your symbol is in and also to provide context about that trend. Is it a trend that's been going on for several days or several weeks or has it just begun? Because one thing you will notice about line break charts, and we can see this giant red can, this red bar here, is that it's not often that you only see one red bar. You can quickly do some data analysis to see. Generally, when you see one red bar, you're gonna see it looks like two or three. You can see this trend. Only in one instance on this entire chart we're looking at, well, I guess actually two, but that's still going back to 2023, has there only been one red bar. So this is a very interesting tool to spot either the start of trends or perhaps the end of trends. Well, how could you spot the end of trends? Look at the line break uptrend right here. New high after new high after new high after new high. That's one of the longer streaks on this chart that you're looking at. Also appears to be one of the steepest. You can utilize this analysis to try to predict when the trend just might end if it's getting too carried away. Or perhaps you think it's only going to get stronger. So you can utilize this in your normal everyday technical analysis, whether you use candlestick charts or line charts. And by combining the price action, say, of candlesticks, look at the difference in information here, versus the price action of line break charts, you can compare and contrast the daily volatility, the trading ranges, everything you know about candlesticks with a really simple trend process to see what your analysis is telling you when you merge the two forms together. So thanks for watching this video. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Make sure you're subscribed. Our YouTube channel has tons of videos on it that cover all of the chart types. So please go watch those, make sure you're subscribed, and our help center is also filled with information about these chart types as well. Thanks for watching.